all of the world is a stage, and all the men and women are merely players. They have their entrances and exits, and one man in his day plays many parts, his acts being seven ages. At first, the infant, mewling and puking in the nurse's arms, and then the whining schoolboy, with his satchel and shining morning face, like a snail unwilling to school. And then there is the lover, a sign like furnace, with a woeful ballad writ to mistress eyebrow. Then a soldier, full of strange oaths, and a beard like a pot, jealous in honor, and sudden and quick in quarrel, seeking the bubble reputation even in the cannon's mouth. And then there is the justice, in fair round belly, and good keeping lined, with eyes severe, and a beard of formal cut, full of wise saws and modern instances, and so he plays his part. The sixth act shifts to the lean and snippet pantaloon, with spectacles on nose, and pouch on sight. His hose well saved, a world too wide for his shunk shank and big manly voice turning towards childish treble, pipes and whistles in a sound. Last act in this strange, eventful history is second childishness and mere oblivion. Sans teeth, sans eyes, sans nose, sans everything.